The clock is ticking. What if you fail? What if it's terrible? You're paralyzed with fear at the thought that you suck. But what if you could turn your greatest fear into your greatest strength? Hi, I'm Andy Sweet. You may remember me from such failed academic careers as B.Ed. Dropout 2012 and Masters of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies Dropout 2019. I suck at most things I do, and I'm here to teach you how to suck professionally. Did you know that most procrastination is actually caused by perfectionism? Your idiot brain self-sabotages because if you do nothing, it can't be bad. If you squeeze out an academic turd nugget 10 minutes before the deadline, you can blame any lost marks on it being a 10 minutes to deadline academic turd nugget. But here's the rub of it. You do suck, and so does everybody else. Embracing it is going to get you a lot further in life than pretending that you're special. Mr. Rogers is dead. Nobody is special. Right now. The worst person on the planet is greenlighting the worst movie ever made. It's going to be written by AI. They'll spend $300 million on it. Even at its absolute worst, your worst assignment is never going to cost you more than one class worth of tuition. Which is a lot, but it's not $300 million. Seriously, go watch Argyle or Riverdale and tell me you don't feel better about your essay. If Riverdale can get seven seasons, you can finish this seven-page paper without crying. In the art of war, Sun Tzu said, no, your enemy. Or maybe he didn't. I don't know. I haven't read it. There's not a lot of Sun Tzu in the communications program. You know your excuses, you know your triggers, so you have to be the one who figures out how to get in front of them. Have all of your deadlines written down. Not in a planner. This is not an excuse for you to buy another planner that you're just going to forget about in a week. And make it your phone background or your computer wallpaper so it's where you can always see it. Give yourself a fake deadline and panic write your essay two weeks before it's due instead of 20 minutes before it's due. You need to idiot proof, and you, sir, are the idiot. Crap, crap, oh no! <laughs> math. Let's say there are 100 students in your class, because that's math that I can do. 50 of them are going to do all of the major assignments. Half of them are going to come to class every day, and half of them are going to do all of the minor assignments. If you just try everything, you're automatically gonna be in the top 10% of the class. Wait, wait a minute, is this permanent? Marlene, I'm in trouble. Speaking of trying everything, this is the rubric for the assignment I'm working on right now. You get 57 points just for showing up. Read your rubrics. Do what it says in your rubrics. Read the instructions and then follow them. This is where everything comes together. You have seen the worst of human creation and you have gotten in front of yourself so that you don't have to worry about barriers. Now, get it done. Get something to hand in. As long as you hand something in, you are not the worst person in the class. Statistically, you're firmly in the middle. Math. You won't know your prof's definition of a good assignment versus a bad assignment, but you definitely know their definition of any assignment versus no assignment. Hand anything in. But then you might get the worst hit of depression you've had since you were 14. You might have a chronic illness flare up. You can make as many fake deadlines and barriers for yourself as possible, and things can still go wrong. But that's the point of this, right? Like, say you only follow your plan for a couple of weeks, then you're still a couple of weeks ahead of where you would have been otherwise. And if all you do is write down your deadlines, then at least you have a list of all of your assignments, so it'll be harder to miss one. If you put all of your time and energy into one assignment and the rest you end up scrambling on the last day, that's still one assignment that you did really, really well on. And that's still better.
Perfect is the enemy of the good. Perfect is the enemy of done. So put your headphones on, turn on your do not disturb, and get it done.